to the chums, how are you today? Today's video is something that I got from the last car boot of the year. Well, the last local car boot, probably the last one we'll go to, I'll be honest. I have no need to go to another car boot. I've got many, many vacuum cleaners still to show you, still to do. But we went there, wandered around the whole thing. What did I buy? I bought a Miele Mini Turbo Brush, uh, a camera for Eva, not for me. And on the last stall, there had been nothing all day apart from on the last stall when for two pounds I saw this a Hoover Brushback Heavy Duty. Let me reposition the camera and we'll have a closer look at it. So here we go. We'll take the tie wrap off. Take the cable off, and here we go in very nice blue and black. It has a see through dust cup, and in fact, there's some dirt in it, so we'll take out the filter, which is quite dirty. I'll just get that grab off. Lots of lovely test dirt. That's the motor of the unit, that is where the dirt comes out. And it's basically identical to the older dust vac, but dust vac, brush vac that I have. There is literally nothing that's really changed about it. The filter itself comes out like that. We might give that a quick vacuum off in a second. What else is there? We have a very soft brush roll. Very soft indeed, and a little bit worn, although it does still seem to work, so that's okay. There's various lint around it. I have used this, I did the stairs with it the other day. And it isn't too bad at all, really. Um, take that screw out there, the belt cover pops off. Uses the same belt as the normal brush vac, which can be substituted with a dirt level handy belt. Which isn't needed on this, you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but you can see through it. My camera's not going to show it, I don't think. So the dirt literally goes through there, out of there, around this filter, and into the dustbin. There we go. Let me pause and go and get, we'll go and get this a vacuum off. Let me go get some of the vacuum cleaner. Here we go, so I've got the DCO4 ready. Let's get this filter a bit of a clean. we go much much cleaner so we'll pop that back in there as it goes pop that in there oh got to put the bottom in first then the top and we're good to go let me plug it in and we'll give it a whirl so we have some dirt emptied out the Dyson. <laughs> Problem with that, it's never going to get full because I'm going to empty it for other stuff. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Thank you. 
not too shabby at all. It seems to put all the dirt at the top of the bin. But hey ho, let's see what it's like on the sofa. So here we are by the sofa. Let's see how she does. As good as that belt looked when I had it off, it is stopping when it hits the floor or the sofa. So we're going to have to put the belt on it at some point, but that's fine. There we go, the first look at the, well, I'll give you the model number. It's an S1137. I can't date that because it is a Chinese ratings plate. It is a Chinese tat hoover, but before probably before it was commonplace. I don't know when this would date from. It's certainly, it's probably the mid to late 90s, possibly even early 2000s. Just a one last hurrah for this shape and design before it was phased out completely. But there we go. That's my first look before refurbishment of the Hoover Brushback Heavy Duty. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.